Welcome forward with Jesus' Course in Miracles. This is chapter 4, page 37. You cannot escape the ego by humbling it or controlling it or punishing it. Remember that the ego and the soul do not know each other. The separated mind cannot maintain the separation except by disassociating. Having done this, it utilizes repression against all truly natural impulses, not because the ego is a separate thing, but because you want to believe that you are. The ego is a device for maintaining this belief, but it is still only your willingness to use the, the device that enables it to endure. My trust in you is greater than yours in me at the moment, but it will not always be that way. Your mission is very simple. You have been chosen to live so as to demonstrate that you are not an ego. I repeat that I do not choose God's channels wrongly. The Holy One shares my trust and always approves my atonement decisions because we will never out of accord with His. I have told you before that I am in charge of a whole atonement. This is only because I completed my part in it as a man and now complete it through other men. My chosen receiving and sending channels cannot fail because I will lend them my strength as long as theirs is wanting. I will go with you to the Holy One and through my perception he can bridge the little gap. Your gratitude to each other is the only gift I want. I will bring it to God for you, knowing that to know your brother is to know God. A little knowledge is an all-encompassing thing. If you are grateful to each other, you are grateful to God for what he created. Through your gratitude, you can come to know each other, and one moment to real re recognition comes all men your brother, because they are all of your father. Love does not conquer all things, but it does set all things right, because you are all the kingdom of God. I can lead you back to your own creation, which you do not yet know. What has been disassociated is still there. As you come closer to a brother, you do approach me, and as you withdraw from him, I become distant to you. Your giant step forward was to insist on a collaboration venture, or collaborative venture. This does not go against the true spirit of uh, meditation. It is inherent in it. Meditation is a collaborative venture with God. It cannot be undertaken successfully by those who disengage themselves from the sonship, because they are disengaging themselves from me. God will come only or God will come to you only as you will give him to your brothers. Learn first of them, and you will be ready to hear God as you hear them. That is because the function of love is one. How can you teach someone the value of something he has deliberately thrown away? He must have thrown it away because he did not value it. You can only show him how miserable he is without it and bring it near very slowly so he can learn how his misery lessens as he approaches it. The con this, condition, this conditions him to associate his misery with its absence and to associate the opposite of misery with its presence. It gradually becomes desirable as he changes his mind about its worth. I am conditioning you to associate misery with the ego and joy with the soul. Have you conditioned yourself the other way around? A far greater reward, however, will break through any conditioning if it is repeatedly offered whenever the old habit pattern is broken. You are still free to choose. But can you really want the reward of the ego and the presence of the reward of God? Creation and communication. It should be clear by now that, while the content of any particular ego illusion does not matter, 
it is usually more helpful to correct it in a specific context. Ego illusions are quite specific, although they frequently change, and although the mind is naturally abstract. The mind, nevertheless, becomes concrete barren voluntarily as soon as it splits. However, only part of it splits, so only part of it is concrete. The concrete part is the same part that believes in the ego because the ego depends on the specific. It is the part that believes your existence means you are separate. Everything the ego perceives is a whole or everything the ego perceives is a separate whole without the relationship that being the ego is thus ag against communication except in so far as it utilizes or utilized to establish separateness rather than to abol abolish it the communication system of the ego is based on its own thought system as is everything else it dictates. The, its communication is controlled by its need to protect itself and it will disrupt communication when it experiences threat. While this is also so, individual egos perceive different kinds of threats, which are quite specific in their own judgment. For example, although all forms of perceived demands may be classified or judged, by the ego as coercive communication, which must be disrupted, the response of breaking communication will never, nevertheless be a specific person or persons. The specificity, the specificity of the ego's thinking then results in a spurious kind of generalization, which is really not abstract at all. It will respond in certain specific ways to all stimuli which is perceived as rel uh, related. In contrast, the soul reacts in the same way to everything it knows is true and does not respond at all to anything else, nor does it make any attempts to establish what is true. It knows that what is true is everything that God created. It is in complete and direct communica communication with every aspect of creation because it is in complete and direct communication with its creator. This communication is the will of God. Creation and communication are synonymous. God created every mind by communicating his mind to it, thus establishing it forever as a channel for the reception of his mind and will. Since only being of a like order can truly communicate, his creations naturally communicate with him and like him. This communication is perfectly abstract and this quality is universal in application and not subject to any judgment, any exception, or any alteration. And thus ends page 37.